Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. My guest, Perry Stone, since age 16, has been studying heaven and times. He has spent well over 100,000 hours, and he has come up with revelations that, as far as scholars are concerned, no one has ever come up with before about heaven and end times. He even has come up with a revelation about the 2016 presidential election. Anyone interested? Yeah. You know, when I found out that Perry Stone was working on the subject of heaven and New Jerusalem, I got so excited. I can't even tell you why I got so excited, but I got so excited I had to have him on this show. But I'm told an event occurred when you were 16 years <laughs> of age that started you on this quest. Salem High School, Andrew Lewis High School, Salem, Virginia, six, a boy came up to me about 16 years of age. I was 16. And I was preaching at that time, just as a kid preacher, and I had a big Bible with me. He said, preacher man, what are you going to do when you die and find out there's not a heaven? I was always real quick to answer, and I said, Jimmy, what you going to do when you die and find out there's a hell? <laughs> and, uh, it, and then, but what happened is it stirred me, and I thought, how would I prove to somebody, kind of more from a scientific perspective, that there is a place called heaven? And so that's, that's what really started my journey, and I, it, it was just, it's been exciting to, uh -huh. even over the years, even recently, to add more to what God showed oh, me. Oh, you got revelations. We're going to share some mm -hmm. of them. Uh, but here's, here's what I want you to help me with, and I think you're going to help a lot of other people. Take me very briefly, okay. on a prophetic timeline starting where we are right now. Okay. Right now we're in the church age, which is called the dispensation of the grace of God. It will continue in climax at the time of the rapture. Now, I'm, I, I lean toward pre-trib because of a lot of research over the years that we have done. Now, now, let's just assume this is correct. Then what we have at that point is a tribulation period, which in Daniel 9, 27, is set for seven years. It's divided into 42 months and 42 months. So what would happen is the return of the Lord, and I like to say it this way, for the overcoming saints who are looking for Him. When that happens, it triggers a time of tribulation on the earth, which is a total of seven years. During the seven years, the saints will be in heaven getting rewards, and also we will enjoy what's called a marriage supper of the Lamb during those seven years in heaven. On earth, there's judgments, there's the revelation of the Antichrist, there's the mark of the beast. There's a lot of the population of the earth that is eliminated by, some of it's just natural calamities, asteroids, earthquakes, etc. We come to the end of the tribulation and we have the Lord returning. Uh, revelation 19 says, on a white horse is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And then he sets up his kingdom in Jerusalem for a thousand years. That's where we get the word millennial reign. That's a thousand. And during that thousand years, the saints of God are going to rule on earth with him for a thousand years. At the end of it, Satan is loosed for a season. Now, the only reason he's loosed Sid, because this has perplexed people, why don't God keep him bound? Because in the millennial reign, there will be people on earth who will continue to repopulate the earth that have never been tempted, tested, or tried by Satan. So God's going to let earthly people who are living in the tribulation, who have survived and repopulated, mm -hmm. to be tested to see if they're going to be faithful to the Lord or follow Satan. That's the last test. Then when that is over, the Bible tells us there's a great white throne judgment in heaven, and then Satan is bound forever in the lake of fire, which is going to be a tremendous day for everyone who is a believer, of course. The new heaven and new earth come down after the great white throne judgment. At this judgment, every single angel that's fallen, Satan himself, plus all saints, all unbelievers, 
all are in heaven at one time. Now, we've already been judged as believers at the judgment seat of Christ, okay? That's in Revelation chapter 11. But the world and the sinners have not been judged. God is never going to condemn anyone in eternity without Him in, let's say, the lake of fire, without them absolutely seeing and knowing the reason why. That's why there's a great white throne judgment. You know, Perry, you teach on the mysteries, unlocking the mysteries of heaven, past, present, and future. Explain. The Holy Spirit put something together for me that I had never heard taught in my life. I believe it can be proven from Ezekiel 28, from the book of Revelation, from Isaiah 14, that Lucifer, who we know as Satan, before he fell, was assisting God in the building of the New Jerusalem. The fall of Lucifer took place before the New Jerusalem was completed. And I'll, I'll get into that later. Now that's called ages past. Creation as we know it with man is 6,000. What a lot of people don't realize is there's what's called ages past. And ages past is, okay, when was Lucifer created? When were the angels created? Uh, he was in heaven as a cherub before he fell. When was that? Uh, when did the rebellion take place where he took a third of the angels and they fell with him? That's the ages past part. In fact, I'm going to throw a nugget out here to, to all your folks. In the Bible, it says hell was prepared for the devil and his angels. But when was hell prepared? Scientists say that the earth was one time molten fire and water cooled it. And that's how the process began. In Genesis 1-1, the earth is created perfect. You've studied Hebrew. You know that in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. The tense there is complete perfection. Like a perfect, it's, it's done. Right. Verse 2, everything is without form and void. The fall of Lucifer happened between Genesis 1-1 and Genesis 1-2 in ages past. So, that's, so in that's, ages past, there is a gap, and we don't even know how you. long that's that That's exactly was. what I'm saying. We don't know how long the gap is. And that explains, if I can, the controversy as to why Christians say there's a 6,000-year-old earth, huh. scientists say it's a 4-billion-year-old earth. There, there's because an answer for there, everything. There absolutely is an answer if we understand uh, the fall of Lucifer and the gap of Genesis 1, 1, and 1, 2 in the time frame there. Let, let's go to some basics. Yeah. Where's heaven located? If you look at Isaiah chapter 14, Satan says, I will ascend into heaven above the stars of God and above the clouds in the sides of the north. The northern part of heaven is very unique because there's a star there called the North Star or Polaris, which sits just a little bit off of true north. Anytime you needed direction, you had to find the North Star. Anytime a ship needed direction, you find the North Star. It's the directional star. What is interesting, Job said God stretches the north over the empty place, but he hangs the earth on nothing. Two scientific facts there. This is what I learned when I was 16. Mm -hmm. One is the earth is hanging on nothing, but what's this thing about the north being an empty place? I have a friend of mine who, I have several friends who work for NASA, and they say it's really true that in the northern part of the heavens, there's an empty place and there's a gap. It's just an empty, a darkness, a gap. All right, the Bible indicates that. North is the only place where you look really true up. All right, so heaven is in the north. Now, number two, Isaiah said, or it was Satan talking, but Isaiah wrote it, I'll ascend um, above the clouds, above the stars, in the sides of the north. That's three heavens. Paul and second. Yeah, I, I heard about second yeah. heaven. How many heavens are there? The Bible tells you of three. There are three heavens, and the Bible indicates specifically what those three are. Clouds, stars, then the end of the stars, that begins the third heaven. And that's where God dwells is in the third heaven. And, and, and where's the devil dwell and his demons? Let me say it this way. Adam was given dominion over the fowls of the air. The birds, if you ever see it, fly in the sky near mm -hmm. the clouds. So Adam, man has dominion of the first heaven. That's why we have airplanes that aren't falling out of the sky. The devil's not knocking airplanes out of the sky. We can fly. We have dominion. Right. We have satellites. Number two, however, is Satan rules in the, in the realm of the second heaven. Principalities, ru uh, rulers of darkness in high places are the second heaven. Third heaven is where God rules. So it's interesting how that between where we are to where God is, we have this spiritual warfare going on. Here's the part that just absolutely stunned. I love this part. Jesus, when He returns, doesn't come back up in the, in the stars, and we have to meet Him where the stars are. He comes right back into Satan's territory and snatches us out so fast that the enemy doesn't even know it's happened till it's over with. <laughs> I'm going to...
I'm going to tell you something. I want you to talk about never revealed. No scholars have ever heard this revelations you, you have got about the, the mountain in heaven, the, okay. uh, the stones in heaven, about Lucifer. We'll be right back. If you love watching our It's Supernatural TV program, you can now watch hundreds of archive programs online, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, on your computer, your smartphone, your iPad, or your favorite tablet. ISN will be the vehicle to equip you to being normal. Normal as defined by the Bible. Just log on to SidRoth.org forward slash ISN. Harry, tell me about the earliest stages of creating the heavens and the earth. Okay. In the beginning of time, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let me just read this verse because this is, okay. this is our foundational verse. Um, God says to this person, you have been in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was your covering. The sardis, topaz, diamond, beryl, onyx, jasper, sapphire, emerald, carbuncle, and gold. The workmanship of your tablets and pipes was prepared in thee the day that thou was created. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth. Um, I, and he says this, uh, I have set thee so upon the holy mountain of God, and you've walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. You were perfect in your ways until iniquity was found in you, and then thy heart was thy heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Now, there's a, there's a couple things here. Number one, it mentions the mountain of God. This is not Jerusalem. This is the heavenly mountain where God dwells. Number two, it mentions Eden. Now, people assume this is the Garden of Eden. This is not the Garden of Eden. There is a heavenly paradise or a heavenly Eden, just like there was an earthly Eden. All right, number three. Now, this is the part that th this the part puzzled me for years. This sort of starts making sense. You are the anointed cherub. This is a cherub that's anointed. No other angel is called anointed but this angel right here. The, th the thing that really got me was you have walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. So I'm, I, let me tell you how this happened. So I'm with a guy in Texas, a pastor in Texas, who do, works with gemstones. And he says to me, he says this, you know, every gemstone is formed in fire. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Now Say, fire. Yeah. Stones of fire. Thank you. And then I go to this Jewish translation of the Bible, and I apologize for not giving you which one it is because there's many translations. And it says, it says, you walked up and down in the gemstones of fire. Hmm. I go, whoa, 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 whoa. Now, then I'm thinking, okay, this is, this is Satan. This is a picture. Most scholars will agree this is Satan. Pipes, were, he, was a poor, he was a worship leader because mm -hmm. pipes were creating him to sing. But he's got nine stones. Now, here's what's odd. These same stones are the, are the same nine that are also part of the 12 stones on the breastplate of the priest in Exodus. These nine stones are also said... And this is where the triggering came. This is where, man, it starts clicking. Nine of the 12 stones in the city, New Jerusalem. So okay. we have 12 stones on the breastplate of the... Uh, That's priest. right. We, we have, in, in New Jerusalem, there's 12 stones. There's 12. So how come Satan only had nine? That's what got me asking this. All right. Then I realized this. Every precious stone is your covering. Now, I used to think he had a breastplate with nine stones. That's how I took this because I'm thinking, okay, this is similar. Wait a minute. But it doesn't say anything here. It just says, it was your covering. And I'm thinking, that word in Hebrew, cover, what's it mean? Okay, watch this. It means there were gemstones on his fingers, gemstones on his arm, hmm. gemstones on his... But wait a minute. He's only got nine. Why nine? You ready? Because th th Satan was the one, this angel was walking up and down in the midst of the stones of fire, preparing the stones for the holy city, New Jerusalem. Watch this. Every time a, 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 a floor, first floor, second floor is completed, God, God allows him to be covered by that gemstone. Hmm. But do you, know what, do you know what stones are missing from him? No. Ready? The last three stories of the New Jerusalem. Hmm. I hear him going, oh, in the audience. They're, get, they're getting it. He fell from heaven and was cast out between the ninth and tenth story being completed. Mm -hmm. He completed the ninth, but he never... Now, why? Because he was lifted up because of his beauty. This show is a little different because we previously got our people from Facebook to write in questions that they had. They came up with some great questions. 
Brian, uh, why don't you give us a question? The first question is, what will we remember in heaven? Hmm. Then the Bible says this. It says the former things will not be remembered nor come into remembrance, which presents a problem. Does that mean that all of our loved ones that are in heaven, we don't remember? The answer is we know our loved ones in heaven because Paul said we'll be known even as we were known. I'll know that's mom. I'll know that's dad, my brother and sister. Now, the reason the former things will not be remembered is because if people we knew did not make it, how would heaven be delightful? If you had children for that didn't make it. So I don't know how God does this, but if God can, this is what he told me. He says, son, if I'm able to look at a person and they ask me for forgiveness of sins and I can erase their sins and never bring them up or remember them, I can do the same thing with people's past. So in other words, there'll come a point because it says no more tears will come in your eyes. At some point, everything about anything negative, anything that happened in your life bad and the people who didn't make it, uh, it will, will not be remembered. Have you had another question, Mark? It's actually a long question, a very good question. You talked about the link between Satan being cast out of heaven during the construction of the heavenly Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Why would this cause such hatred for Israel in Jerusalem today? I'm going to compare it to a pair, like a story. If I worked for a major corporation and I was the CEO over the whole thing and they booted me out because of something I did wrong, if I didn't take the right attitude, I could cause a rebellion in the company and I would hate that company the rest of my life. His hatred for Jerusalem is a continual reminder of his failure. When we come back, uh, I, I, I want to find out what happens in this new Jerusalem, what our job's going to be. What, what happens when we're heaven? What is our job? I mean, are we going to work? Are we going to go to school? What are we going to do? <laughs> Don't go away. Be very fast. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. Call now and receive Perry Stone's revelatory book, Chronicles of the Sacred Mountain, and his three-part audio CD teaching, The Mysteries of Heaven and Life After Death, and Perry's bonus audio CD, The Washington Harbingers and the 2016 Election. Yours for a donation of $40. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9405. Through Perry Stone's powerful one-of-a-kind book and three-part audio CD teaching, you will understand the answers to these questions. What are the three levels of heaven mentioned in the Bible? How will we one day judge the angels? What kind of food will we eat in heaven? What will we look like in heaven? In heaven, will we know each other as we did on earth? What is the great white throne judgment? Understand the mystery revealed about Lucifer, Satan's role before he was forced out of heaven with one-third of the angelic realm. Learn that he was once appointed by God to help create the New Jerusalem. Glean a new understanding of heaven and of the mystery of Satan's fall. Hear about the dream Perry had when he saw what Satan looks like. Plus, you will receive this bonus audio CD, The Washington Harbingers and the 2016 Election. In it, Perry answers these questions. Does God control elections or does the enemy sometimes intervene to raise up leaders? What can we do to counteract the increase of spiritual warfare during this presidential election? Perry also shares William Branham's prophecy that is shockingly relevant to this 2016 election. Don't miss out on getting Perry Stone's revelatory book, Chronicles of the Sacred Mountain, and his three-part audio CD teaching, The Mysteries of Heaven and Life After Death, and Perry's bonus audio CD, The Washington Harbingers and the 2016 Election. Yours for a donation of $40. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9405. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9405 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. What is, what is the millennium and okay. what... Is there a job assignment or we just have regular jobs like right, we always do? Let's explain this. When we come back from heaven in Revelation 19 with Christ, we will, we will come back and rule with Him for 1,000 years. Now, people have this real misconception of what the millennium is. They think we just kind of float around. We kind of chill out. We go down to the Sea of Galilee and drink, you know, a soda and, hey, man, everything's cool. What happens is Jesus said it this way, because you've been faithful over little things, I'll make you ruler over many. Basically, kings, priests, and rulers is our position. So that's pretty, that's pretty remarkable to think about. Now, every presidential election recently, God has spoken in advance to you since, who would be since president. Since the 90s. I do studies from the Hebraic perspective on numbers, and you know this, and I have so much fun with this. 
I did something very different I've never done before. I went to President 43, 44, and 45, and I, and I, and, and I said this in President 44. I said, 44 is division. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm telling this. I don't even know who he is or she or whoever. I said, but in 40, the 44 is double division. Huh. And I said, you're going to see the country split right down the middle. Now, I'm saying all this, and, you know, I'm saying to myself, God, you better trust me. After me telling people that it was God's will for Bush to be president when he won, I got a relief. Because <laughs> they sure. would, they'd have stoned me for being a false prophet. I got on TV and told it. Okay, now, let me, let me go back to this real quick while it's on my mind. So I start looking at number 45. Are y'all ready for this? Mm -hmm. This is crazy. If you take the 40 and the 5 in the Hebrew alphabet, it's ma. Not mom, but ma. Do you know what the word ma means? What? It means what? what? Yeah. Here's what's going to happen. Everybody mark this down. Whoever gets in, people are going to say, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're going to say. Remember, what? How did this happen? What? What is going on? What? Watch it. And, and so, so... I will, I will say this, I will say this, and I'm not going to name them, because uh, I get a boldness when I sense the anointing, but I also have learned to restrain. F four years ago, I saw a man, and God spoke to me and said, I am going to raise this man up to be a leader. Now, I will not name, because this stuff goes everywhere, and then mm -hmm. people copy it, and they right. paste it. Then people who, if they don't like the person, you know, they're, they're, they're calling my office and cussing my office staff out. I'm serious. People are crazy. Um, <laughs> it is possible he will be a vice presidential candidate. And if he is, there is no doubt in my mind that person will win if that person is selected. Very strong Christian. Very. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. There's other things I could say. But... I believe that it's, this is the person who's supposed to come on the ticket. Now, I'm not going to name who it is. Now, and I, I may tell you privately, so if this happens, you can you say... You already have. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, did I really? Oh, yeah. boy. See, <laughs> I learned to keep my mouth shut. Harry, Jesus went away to enable us to have access into the kingdom. And there's something called the Lamb's Book of Life. What is that? The Lamb's Book of Life is what I call the registry to give you access to eternity and the New Jerusalem. To get in that Book of Life, you have to be born again. You have to have a redemptive covenant with Jesus Christ. If you sincerely say the prayer I'm going to lead you in right now, and you mean it to the best mm. of your ability, you will not have mm. to look back and you will not have to wonder. I want to see that your name is inscribed in the Lamb's Book of Life for sure. Yes, yes, yes. So repeat this after me, even if you've been a believer 30 years, 50 years. Let's reestablish who you are. Repeat after me. Dear God, I'm a sinner against you, and you alone have I sinned. And I'm so sorry. I believe that Jesus came to earth. Jesus came to earth. He lived sinless. He lived sinless. He died. He died. He was buried. He rose from the dead. He rose from the dead. And because he did that, and because he did that, he paid the price for every bad thing I've ever done. He paid the price for every bad thing I've ever done. And you, his precious blood, and his precious blood washed, away washed away my sins. God, I've repented. God, I've repented. And I thank you. You're a good God. Thank you, Lord. You're a good God. And I am clean. Clean. Because of the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And now that I'm clean, and now that I'm clean I boldly proclaim. I boldly proclaim. Jesus is my Lord. Jesus is my Lord. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Come inside of me. Come inside of me. Oh, I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I thank you that my name, I thank you that my name is inscribed in the Lamb's Book of Life. It's inscribed in the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen. 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 
Thank you, Jesus! <laughs> when Perry Stone was just 16 years old, a male classmate challenged Perry asking, what are you going to do when you die and find out there is no heaven? That day, Perry began his over 100,000 hour detailed research of the Bible and science to prove that heaven does indeed exist. Biblical scholars have told Perry that what he discovered is revelation that has never been shared before. Perry Stone wants to reveal to you the details often overlooked and seldom taught concerning the mysteries of heaven, eternity, and life after death. Call now and receive Perry Stone's revelatory book, Chronicles of the Sacred Mountain, and his three-part audio CD teaching, The Mysteries of Heaven and Life After Death, and Perry's bonus audio CD, The Washington Harbingers and the 2016 Election, yours for a donation of $40. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9405. Through Perry Stone's powerful one-of-a-kind book and three-part audio CD teaching, you will understand the answers to these questions. What are the three levels of heaven mentioned in the Bible? How will we one day judge the angels with people from every nation in heaven? What language will we speak? If a woman has a miscarriage, will she see her child in heaven? Do my loved ones in heaven have knowledge of things occurring on earth? If a loved one dies lost, will we remember them in the age to come? What kind of food will we eat in heaven? What will we look like in heaven? In heaven Will we know each other as we did on earth? What is the great white throne judgment, which involves the judgment of men and angels, which will occur at the end of Messiah Jesus' thousand year rule on earth? Understand the mystery revealed about Lucifer, Satan's role before he was forced out of heaven with one third of the angelic realm. Learn that he was once appointed by God to help create the new Jerusalem. Glean a new understanding of heaven and of the mystery of Satan's fall. Hear about the dream Perry had when he saw what Satan looks like. His beauty is unparalleled but his actions are destructive. Plus, you will receive this bonus audio CD, The Washington Harbingers and the 2016 Election. In it, Perry answers these questions. Does God control elections, or does the enemy sometimes intervene to raise up leaders? Is it true that a democracy is always temporary in history? What can we do to counteract the increase of spiritual warfare during this presidential election? Perry also shares William Branham's prophecy that is shockingly relevant to this 2016 election. Don't miss out on getting Perry Stone's revelatory book, Chronicles of the Sacred Mountain, and his three-part audio CD teaching, The Mysteries of Heaven and Life After Death, and Perry's bonus audio CD, The Washington Harbingers and the 2016 Election, yours for a donation of $40. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9405. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9405 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural. My next guest started a genuine friendship with the Holy Spirit at 13. He's 27 now. And he says the most important thing of the hour is for you to have a friendship with the Spirit of the living God, and he would like to help you develop this. I want this, do you? Your gifts to this ministry will help Sid air It's Supernatural in Israel 28 times a week and distribute his evangelistic book to the Jewish people worldwide.